Welcome to the Journey to Lightning Experience video series. Have you been looking for your org's JavaScript buttons in Lightning Experience? Well, here's the 411. To keep your data secure and to eliminate the security risks of running untrusted JavaScript within Salesforce, these types of buttons aren't supported in the new interface. But not to worry. We're here to help with the Lightning Experience Configuration Converter. Use this tool to quickly assess your org's JavaScript buttons and automatically create Lightning-friendly alternatives. Let's see how it works. Get started by making sure your org can run the Configuration Converter. My domain must be enabled. And if your org uses IP restrictions, allow these addresses for your org so admins can run the tool. The Configuration Converter is a standalone tool that lives outside of Salesforce. But you can launch it from the Lightning Experience Transition Assistant and Setup. Select the rollout phase, expand the Adjust Existing Customization stage, then click the Open App button for the Convert JavaScript Buttons step. You can log in with either your production or sandbox credentials. We recommend using your sandbox. Everything you need is on the JavaScript Buttons tab. Start by having the tool scan your org. You get a list of your org's JavaScript buttons with options for converting them. If the list is long, the User Impact column helps you prioritize the buttons that are used most often. Now, here's where the Configuration Converter becomes your best friend. The Conversion Type column shows which buttons the tool can convert for you and what the Lightning-friendly versions will be. For example, looking at the Create Opportunity JavaScript button, you see that the tool will create a quick action to do the same job in Lightning Experience. So let's put the Configuration Converter to work. Open a JavaScript Buttons drop-down menu. You can start by previewing what the tool is going to do. Then make it so by clicking Convert and Deploy. There's no risk because the tool doesn't touch the JavaScript button. Instead, its functionality is recreated to work in Lightning Experience. And the resulting new action or button is added to all page layouts containing the original. Sometimes the configuration converter only gets you part of the way, or can't automate a solution. Let's look at your options in these cases. If the tool cannot convert all of a JavaScript button's behavior, it creates a Lightning component action and implements what it can. But someone needs to finish the new action by adding the advanced functions that the tool can't replicate. When a JavaScript button is too complex for the tool to recreate, drill in on the manual link to see recommendations for your next steps. If the button matches a common pattern, such as a dialog or URL hack, you get even more help with a sample component that you can download and adapt for your org. Sample components are available from a GitHub repository. Don't worry, you don't need a GitHub login. Just click the component link in the recommendations window. At the top of the GitHub page, click LEX Components Bundle to go to the repository's landing page. Then scroll to the Getting Started section and install the unmanaged package that includes the sample components. What you do next depends on your situation. If you have Salesforce developers on your transition team, have them modify the sample component to match the JavaScript button. Or join us on the trail by heading to the Lightning EXP Configuration Converter group at trailblazer.salesforce.com, where you can post your questions to Lightning experts using the JS Underbar Alternatives hashtag. And anytime you want to learn more on your own, check out these resources.